This is Beth from ReadingWritingTutor.com and I'm going to show you how to use Google Calendar as a homework planner. This is a great tool for a lot of different students. I start to recommend it in late elementary to middle school. I think a lot of fifth graders can handle this, but sometimes it's not really relevant until sixth or seventh grade. It's great for high school students and older kids too. This is a great choice for kids in classes that are already using a lot of technology, like classrooms that have one-to-one -one devices, a tablet, and a Chromebook, a computer for everybody in the class. And it's great for students that already have teachers using Google Classroom. They work together really well. This can also be a great assistive technology for students with executive functioning difficulties. Those are the kids that lose their planner or fill it out and leave it in their desk or skip around in the pages and write assignments in strange places and then can't find them, or students who can't remember where they put the homework when they see the note in their planner. They can't remember what that note means. It can also be a really great choice for students with weak fine motor skills. Those are the students whose handwriting doesn't fit in the boxes in the commercial planners, or students who spend so much time laboriously handwriting the assignment that they don't get the whole thing finished or they're late for their next class. It's also a great choice for them because sometimes the they leave out words because they write slowly and then they can't remember what the assignment means. So using a digital tool which is really flexible can help to support all these different kinds of students. Some reasons I love Google Calendar as a homework planner is it gives you more room to write. You can type in these boxes and there are a few different fields where you can add detail about an assignment. You can't forget it at school. You can log into your Google account from anywhere and check it. You can color code it, just like maybe you've color coded your binders or your folders. And you can share a calendar with a parent or a teacher. This is a great option for those students that are starting to gain independence with completing their homework and turning it in, but still need an adult to oversee, to pop in once in a while, make sure that they've put things in the planner and that they've finished the work. Now let me show you how it works. Log into your Google account, and from this menu over here, click on Calendar. When you first go into the calendar, you're looking at the default calendar that goes with your account. We're going to create a separate homework calendar. Over here in the left panel, you see a group called My Calendars. Click the triangle to the right of it, and click Create New Calendar. Give it a simple name, Beth's Homework. You can share it with specific people. So if I want to share it with mom at mom.com, um, she will be able to log in and see the calendar. You can set it so another person can either see the event details or edit the event details also. Up to you, depending on the age of your kid, what would be appropriate. Then create the calendar. For our purposes here, oh, this is a little slow. It's asking me whether I want to invite this fake person that I added. I'm going to say don't invite. Here's the Beth's homework calendar. Right now, it's the only calendar with a colored square, so it's the only one we're looking at. That's a good idea because as you set it up, it will ask you what calendar you want to use, and if this is the only one showing, then it defaults to that one. So click on a Monday, the beginning of the class. Let me show you that again. So click on the class and click Edit Event. My first class of the day is math. One math. I'm putting the one to say first period. That'll keep my classes in chronological order in the day. I'm also going to make it an all day event and repeat. It's going to repeat every weekday, Monday to Friday. You can set an end day here if you want to put in the last day of school at the end of the year. You can always delete them later. My binder for math class is yellow. I'm picking yellow and I'm going to save. You'll notice it shows up every day of the week. Let's do that again for the other classes. You can add your event from here. 
but you do have to edit event to make it all day and repeating. Blue for history. Going back to edit event, period three, English, all day, repeating event, every weekday. And we'll make that one red. And then science. Edit the event, repeats, weekdays, and that one is green. So there's my calendar for the week. These days are pastel. They're shaded out because these days are over. If I wanted to put in homework for a class I took today, I'd open it up this way. So today in math class, edit event. I have a worksheet. It's about order of operations. Where? Here you could give a geographic location. I'm going to work on it at the library. You could say physically where that paper is. It's in my homework folder. Or you could type in a website. What's the virtual location? It's on Google Classroom. You can use that field however works best. I'm going to say it's in my homework folder. <coughs> Description. This is a great field to put in notes about what the teacher said to do, like only do odd number problems. And that's it. Save. And you want to save only this event because you only want it on today. You don't want to save it on every math class forever. And there it is. So now you have events in your calendar. You can also look at this as a daily view, and you'll be able to see a little bit more of each event. The reason we keep these as all-day events is it keeps them at the top of the calendar here. So if you're also putting in sports practices and games and appointments in the body of the calendar, this keeps the homework front and center when you get home to do it. So that is how to use Google Calendar as your homework planner. To find out more, check out my blog at readingwritingtutor.com and find out about the tutoring services I can offer. Thanks.